I can understand now. Like when a man lives his life in fear. Like, and I'm going to tell you, this, this is one of the prime indicators. This, this is how I this is how I personally can know if a man is plugged in simply because of the way he sees the world. I can tell if a man is plugged in strictly by the way he sees the world. Listen to listen to a man or a woman speak. How do you view everybody else? How do you view your challenges? How do, how do you view the brothers you hate? How do you view the people that, that, that don't even like what, what you talk about, that, that disagree with what you're saying? How do you feel about the people that come on your channel and, and troll and say certain things? It's all one. It's all one. I have no enemies. A man with understanding can have no enemies. Not true. I'm not, not true enemies. He might have some beef that he have to take care of and, and handle some issues. He might have to smack a few people in life, but he has no enemies. To have an enemy is to be an enemy of yourself. If you understand truth. To have an enemy is to be an enemy of yourself. At ease, brothers. I mean, I want to talk about two questions I received on Instagram within the last couple of days, right? Because I understand that if a man can understand and can answer these two questions, I mean, his life will never be the same. His whole, his whole experience on this planet will be different, right? And the first question came from a brother on Instagram named Retro Neon, right? I think he sells shoes or something like that retro neon and, and he, he he jumped in a dm and he asked he, he said a few things right but his ultimate question was so wh what is god what is god and i said brother you know god is the substance of everything that's seen and the creative force of everything that's not i believe when a man first understands that brother it it's going to automatically, it's going to start automatically opening doors and letting windows up in life because everybody is teaching us from you. Now you, you talk about God, you talk about source energy and everybody instantly extracts God from everything and puts it up in some far, far away land, right? Once you understand that God is everything Understand that God is both the, the, the solid and the unseen. Brother, you, you, really, uh, you, you really start to understand life. You really start to understand who you are. You, re you really start, to, you really understand, you fully understand that there is no difference between what you are, what someone else is, what anything is. It starts, it starts, to, it starts to, to extract you from common thinking and bring you into oneness. And I'm telling you, man, a lot of people, a lot of people think they're there, but they aren't because I can still sense the separation. And I ain't got to talk about that. I've talked about that enough. But again, once you start to understand that, once you understand that God is both what is solid and, and what is unseen. In other words, what the Kabbalion talks about, how matter is formed and, and, and what Waddles, uh, Wallace Waddles talks about the, the, the ether or that thinking stuff. Once you understand that God are, 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 are both of those things, you really start to understand, man. And another brother asked me a separate question, same day. He said, what does it mean to be immortal? And this is one of those brothers, man, with no profile picture, like I'm always talking about. His name is a series of letters and numbers. But he says, what does it mean to be immortal? And in my mind, I'm thinking, Bro, I wish these two brothers would have been in the same room because we could have really had some, some, some serious God talk in that room. Because, because what it means to be immortal is really fully understanding the first question, fully understanding what, what God is, fully understanding that both the physical and the unseen are the same thing. Once you plug into that, brothers, I'm telling you, man, and I know... The only way I can explain it is I say, you, you see the face of God. 
And I can understand for someone who, who doesn't know what I'm talking about. I can understand what that may sound like, but I don't know no other way to say it. Once you, once you plug into that, you can see the code to life. You can see the answers to all your questions. To become immortal, man, it is to bridge both worlds. I've said it a million times. And what I told brother, the same thing I told brother, I just read a singular truth for y'all that haven't got it. This is what I said. I said, man lives his life divided by two planes and in accordance with what he is taught. He manages each with isolated thoughts. He understands the limitless, limitlessness of his spiritual thoughts, but he places several ceilings on his life when contemplating what can be done in the physical. Until they both agree on one outcome, man will never experience the power he possesses. When a man understands that there is no difference between the physical and the spiritual, when he understands there's no difference between the ether and the thing that's solid, when he can have one thought with his spiritual mind and his ego mind, brother, that, that, that code, that, that, that thing is unlocked. That thing that a lot of people are searching for, to be honest, that thing that everybody is searching for. It's the same thing that everybody is searching for. Like some people, some people will get on that path and go straight toward it and, and try to find that knowledge. But some people will try to find that, you know, since they don't, since, since they don't want to just travel the straight path, because everybody's not going to just travel that straight path to knowledge. They, they want to look for that same thing in everything else. Like, like, I think I have the answers over here. If I can obtain this, like, I, I can feel that little, that, that feeling of joy. It's not there, bro. Once a man gets a real taste of what that is, man, and, and plugs that, man, I, all I can say is, man, that life makes sense. Life makes sense. And when I say, when I say you can see the face of God, really what I'm saying is you can just see the key that unlocks everything. And the thing is, I've shared this with y'all brothers on, on a million different levels. Oh, how, how, can I, how can I form my own world? So y'all call, I'm in the DMs every day. Hey man, my life is doing X, Y, Z. Why isn't my life doing a certain thing? The recipe, a singular truth. Man, my, my girl is coming, man, and she's trying to, she's moving sour. She's doing this. She's draining my energy. A beautiful face of evil. Man, I'm looking for that 1% woman. A code to her chemistry. But you have to understand, you have to understand it's the same recipe for all walks of life. It's the same recipe. It's, it's the same face of God I'm talking about. Just, just restructure and apply to different areas of life. To different areas of life. It's the same recipe, man. It, it's, it's the imprint of creation. It's, it's understanding that polarity is in everything. It's the face of God. I don't know. I don't know no other way to say it, brothers. And then when you think about this, like I, I see a lot of people talking about because it's a real thing and it's a serious thing. You have to understand. You have to understand what depression is. When people talk about depression, like depression is a real thing. That 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 state is a, is it's a real state of being. It's a very low vibrational. I don't know if I really want to be here anymore. Type vibe, type space. But you have to understand. You have to understand, man. That that depression is not. And I'm no doctor. I'm not giving medical advice. Trust me. But you have to understand, man. That depression. Depression is not this this medical thing we've we've placed on it. It's, it's not something that, that oh, well, you got to take these pills for the rest of your life to stay stable. Or you got to go see a, a, a certain type doctor for the next 20 years just to keep your mind, rate, uh, mind right. Depression is really just understanding what's taking place with you on an energetic level. Right? Depression is simply saying... You got to think about what depression is, man. Think about even depression on a, on a geographical level. A depression is when the land is doing a certain thing and, and, and then the land, the, it just drops off. Sometimes there's a pond there. Sometimes it's just a cliff and a, it's a, it's, it's a depression. It's, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a separation or a decline from status quo. 
or, 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 or a decline from your current truth. Let me say it like that, right? So you have to understand when a person goes through depression, it's not, it's not a medical thing. It's just that they've allowed something to bring them away from what they know. And even if a person, even if a person isn't to the state where they can say, okay, I understand now that both worlds are one. Most people can live their lives where those worlds are, are close enough to keep the peace. In other words, on one side of the fence, I know that I'm limitless, limitless, right? And on the other side of the fence, my life is good. Yeah, I catch a lot of chaos. It ain't like what I want. I'm not really achieving the goals that I really want to achieve. I don't have the person I really want to. I don't live where I really want to live, but, but the lights are on, the bills are paid, the car is still running. Everybody, everybody's healthy. That's a, that's a peaceful place. So when people ride, you know, reside in that peaceful place and they still understand that, you know what? I'm limitless. It's, it's not a big enough depression to say, you know what? Now I'm in a, a horrible state. But when a person, when a person puts their energy in the physical thing, when a person puts their energy in their truth in this third dimension, and, and now their third dimension is shaky, right? My car broke down, my girl left, my jet job laid me off. Once that happens and they haven't merged both worlds, now, now, they, now they separate. Now, now they're depressed. Now they're further from center. Once you understand that that's what's really happening, depression won't last but a day, brothers. Once you understand that, hey, you know what? I'm in this low state. Like I'm vibing low, whether something extracted me from it, whether a life, a life event took me from it. I'm in this low state. All, is, all, all, all you have to do to change that, brothers, is just to understand that, hey, you know what? I'm allowing something to, to, to pull me from my center. I'm allowing something to separate my triad. I'm allowing something to put a veil over the face of God that I've discovered. Because I, I, can't rock, I can't rock out in this in this state of abundance and knowing and be in a state of depression. So again, it's just a matter of, like I always say, sitting down, sitting down in your chair, taking a, taking a drive around the city and, and, and finding that thing, find, you know, reconnecting yourself with that all. Again, understanding that all that is seen and all that is unseen is one. That's what abundance is. Abundance is understanding that all that is seen, in other words, all that the things that you possess, all your trophies in life, all the things you've worked hard to achieve, is understanding that those things are a product of God, are God, and the things that you've yet to accomplish are still God. You have to understand that if you're calling them both the same thing, how can you not be in a state of abundance? How can, you, how can you be in a state of lack of what if what you have and what you don't have are both the same frequency? It's just a both, it's just a matter of you putting your state, putting yourself in that state to attain that thing. But it's already yours because you're you are a part of what it is. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? You you are a part of what it is. It's just a matter of you applying the recipe, the perfect recipe for that. But it's the same recipe, bro. It's the same recipe. When you want, when you want to, when you say, you know what? Okay, man, I want my life to do a certain thing. I'm tired of living in this same city I grew up in. I'm tired of having these same, same backstabbing friends. I'm tired of seeing these same women that, that's talking about the same thing. I want something else. It's just a matter of you applying this same thing to everything in life. I'm reading it again, brothers. Man lives his life divided by two planes in, in accordance with that, uh, with what he is taught, right? In other words, man is taught that, hey, go to church on Sundays and, and, and praise God. But once you walk out that church, I need your mind to do something different. I needed to do something. That's what we're taught. We're not, we're not taught that the two are one. We're taught that we're having experience on Sundays and Wednesdays. It's the same experience. Once a man understands it's the same experience, his life changes, brothers. Man lives his life divided by two planes in, in accordance with what he is taught. He manages each with isolated thoughts, ego and spirit. They're different thoughts. He understands the limitlessness of his spiritual thoughts 
but he places several ceilings on his life when contemplating what could be done in the physical until they both agree on one outcome, a singular truth. Man will never experience the power he possesses. The power he possesses. And you got to understand this, brother. When I talk about the man, the power that a man possesses, I'm not talking about the things he's accomplished. I'm not talking about the things he's driving. I'm not talking about the cars. I'm, I'm not talking about the camera he uses. I'm not talking about the mic he uses. I'm not talking about the woman in his life. I'm simply talking about the power he possesses. Charles Hannel talked about it in the Master Key System. Was it the Master Key System or uh, 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 one of those books I'm always referring to where they say a man at some point, a man will fall in love with the power itself. Not what the power can manifest. Okay, yeah, a man can manifest whatever he wants. But at some point in time, he's going to say, okay, that's cool. But I'm more in love with just the raw power. That's what it means to be immortal. Understanding what that raw power is and becoming one with it. It's the recipe to everything, bro. It's the recipe to peace. Matter of fact, I I don't think a man can obtain peace unless he's unless he's cooking life with that same recipe. It's the same. It's the same application. It's the same. It's the same pattern that's in everything. Even in the recipe, and when I made the recipe in, in 2019, I believe, 2020, it's the same thing. It, it's, it's the same truth. Of course, the singular truth is the recipe on, on steroids. Of course, a, of course a, a code to her chemistry is, is taking a singular truth and, and translating it to becoming and walking as that 1% man. Of course, it's called a code to her chemistry, how to attract a 1% woman. But it's not about, it's not about as far as, as attracting a 1% woman as it is about becoming a 1% man. Because you can't attract a 1% anything unless you are 1% of its opposite. So it's called a code to her chemistry, but again, it's the code to life. It's the code to life. So when y'all, when y'all jump in the DM and y'all ask me these questions, what is God? What does it mean to be immortal? It says, brother, I, I, I've given you that answer on, 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 on everything. Of course, I can give you a one-liner in the DM, brother, but you can, you can see the face. For those of y'all that, that took the journey, when we had the journey back in November, December, I'm telling you, man, it's just, about, it's just a matter of man. It's just a matter of man understanding what is, man. And, and again, and I said this before, I can understand now, like when a man lives his life in fear, like, and I'm going to tell you, this, this is one of the prime indicators. This, this, is how I, this is how I personally can know if a man is plugged in, simply because of the way he sees the world. I can tell if a man is plugged in strictly by the way he sees the world. Listen to, listen to a man or a woman speak. How do you view everybody else? How do you view your challenges? How do, how do you view the brothers you hate? How do you view the people that, that, that don't even like what, what you talk about, that, that disagree with what you're saying? How do you feel about the people that come on your channel and, and troll and say certain things? It's all one. It's all one. I have no enemies. A man with understanding can have no enemies. Not true. I'm not, not true enemies. He might have some beef that he have to take care of and, and handle some issues. He might have to smack a few people in life, but he has no enemies. To have an enemy is to be an enemy of yourself if you understand truth. To have an enemy is to be an enemy of yourself. To hate somebody because they look different from you. They pray different from you. They're a different shade of brown or yellow or tan or white than you. It's to hate yourself. It's to hate yourself, brothers.